Hello everyone. Uh, I thought today we'd have a look at this uh, vintage Atari 800 computer. This was probably from 1981-1982. I've had it since probably the mid to late 80s. This was Atari's uh, competition along with the Commodore 64 for its time. Atari had this, the 800, which was the big daddy, and then they also had the smaller 400. Uh, I believe it didn't have the same RAM capabilities as this one does. It was a lot smaller. And also, this has a traditional keyboard. The Atari 400 just had a, uh, a touch-sensitive keyboard. Uh, this also has a little compartment that you can put a cartridge in. This, for basic computing, actually had a basic computing language cartridge. And I am not sure why there's a left and a right side. I can't remember why, but most everything you ever used was always on the left side. This was also, uh, you can also play video games. You were able to play video games on this. Uh, I had a couple different video games for it. I have no idea where they're at now. So, basically, you would just use it as a computer. And also, since it had uh, video game capabilities, it actually has four joystick ports. Now, the joystick that was compatible with this was the same joysticks that were compatible with the... Atari 2600 video game system that was like really popular in the 80s. But the cartridges were not compatible. The 2600 cartridges would not work in this in this machine. So here's a quick look at the side of the of the computer. Uh, this is actually a out output for a Atari uh, monitor that plugged into that. This is for the, uh, this is a peripheral. This is for basically, I believe you could put a floppy drive on this or the cassette drive, which I'll show you here in a minute. It had a channel selector, channel two or channel three, uh, the power on off switch and the jack to plug in the power pack. So here's the power pack. Just basically a huge transformer. So you would take the one end, this would go into the computer, plug it in right there, and this end would go into, into your wall socket or power strip. So to use the program recorder, you would just go ahead and just plug it into a standard wall outlet or, or a power strip, and then the other cord went into the actual uh, side of the the computer right right here it would plug right in and then to get everything onto your TV it actually had a connector this is the same type of connector that is popular that hook well it goes to a switch box which hooks to your TV but it's the same switch box you can use for the uh, Atari 2600 uh, I believe probably in a future video I will hook this up to a TV. I have to find the actual switch box that goes with it. It might be in with my Atari uh, 2600. Uh, I also need to clean this up really good. It's really filthy. It's been sitting in a box all these years. So that will be it for this video. Uh, I have more stuff on the way. If you like my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.